Good morning, everyone. I would like to very gratefully introduce our first presenter today. Her name is Madge Kleinkoffer. She is a reverend from the Home Center Living New Thought Church here in Salem. They also have an information booth out over with our booth, so if you want more information about the Home Center and what they're doing out there, just stop by and, and there's a nice gal out there that would probably be very honored to share with you. And so let's just give a warm welcome to Madge today. much for having me here. So I'm going to turn on my little recorder. My husband wasn't able to be here today. Could you record it all? Yeah, I think I could do that. So my fun name is actually Minister Match. I forgot to tell you that part. That's what I call myself here with two ends. Kind of fun. I'm very grateful for this event here today. In this environment that brings us together, this event here today that brings us together in the spirit of oneness, and in the spirit of peace is like the polar opposite of what's happening in our social environment today. In this political environment of what's trying to polarize our society, it's so beautiful to have this kind of an event where we can step out of that pull from one direction or the other, the pull that tries to identify us as red or blue, as for someone or against someone, and we can just be at one with each other in honor and respect. The environment that I'm experiencing right now, it feels very much like it's the attempt to crystallize that saying that we all heard so well, that was probably like fingers on a chalkboard, that you're either, if you're not for us, you're against us. Remember that statement? And it feels like polar in the, the environment of what we're experiencing right now, the political environment, it's like trying to crystallize that. So events like this are absolutely a divine experience to have in the midst of all of this. So I'm very grateful to Reverend Georgie and her team of people here in Caroline for her dream to create something like this, especially at this time of year. It's such a haven. I know that I'm probably preaching to the choir about oneness. You wouldn't be here if you didn't believe in it, is my belief about every one of you. But nonetheless, I still want to acknowledge that process that we've all come to where we've surpassed the place of judgment that if you're not like me, you're bad, and if you're like me, you're good. I'm sure that all of us have surpassed that place. And so I'm so grateful to share this event with all of you that have like hearts. A Course in Miracles says, the ego is our mind's endless need to attack itself. In New Thought, we see ourselves as co-creators. If we don't have peace on the inside, we cannot have peace on the outside. And I know that we all believe that or see that as the basic premise of manifestation. If our ego is out of balance with our mind or our heart, it will attack itself. What that saying reminds me of is the washing machine out of balance. It's a square box with a round tube in it. And when there's too much of a heavy load in it, on one side or the other, it is attacking itself. It goes kabunk, kabunk, kabunk. And everything stops and you have to run to the washer because it's going to just knock itself out right outside of the laundry room. That's what it sounds like. So it's very much at war with itself when it's out of balance. And that's what this saying reminds me of, to be out of balance with our ego, our mind, and our heart. When we're at war with ourselves, we're at war with each other. Or when we're at war with each other, we're actually at war with ourselves. Because I am the other you and you are the other me. I am looking at all aspects of me when I'm looking at you is the premise of what I believe that that means. And if we believe our own doctrine, then we know that we are made in the image and likeness of God. And there is no phrase in there that says accept. Or there's no phrase in there that says, oh, you're one of those. Well, you know, it doesn't happen. It's not in there. This week I was in a waiting area, in a waiting room, doing what we all do in a waiting room, looking at a magazine, wondering when they're going to call my name. 
and you don't want to engage in the article of the magazine because as soon as you get to the good part, you know they're going to call your name anyway. So I'm looking at the pictures, reading the subtitles of the pictures that capture my attention. This one picture captured my attention because it seemed so mundane. It was people sitting at a dinner table. I thought, well, what's wrong? Why would this be in the National Geographic? So I read the subtitle, and it said it has the most remarkable statement. It said, this Romanian family sits down for a Christmas dinner with chicken for the Muslim family members and pork for the Christian Orthodox family members. And I said, wow, that is beautiful.